What's going on guys? My name is Ben from Ben I Saw Guy. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today is an unboxing of the Nintendo DS Lite. Now, this is not the 3DS. In fact, I believe this is the second generation of the Nintendo DS because after this we have the Nintendo DSi and then we have the Nintendo DSi XL and now we have the 3DS which actually uh, took a step forward from the Nintendo DS. Now, again, just like my other unboxing so far, which the day this video is being recorded is on March 29th, 2012. Uh, this DS was bought in 2006. So for this week, you should expect uh, this week to be Nintendo week because I am going to be doing an unboxing of Nintendo products that I have laying around in my house that I find most interesting and it could be ancient ones or most current ones just like the Wii. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box itself. So the box is kind of beat up a little bit. You might not see it right here, but you will on this side right here. So we have the picture of the console itself, Nintendo DS Lite. On the top, Nintendo DS Lite. On the back, some information crap we don't give a, a crap about. And some more information right here. Uh, the DS Lite logo right there. And as well as DS Lite right there. Uh, also, I should mention that this is not my DS. Don't think that I own everything that I unbox. Uh, this is actually my brother's DS. And the reason why he would go for a DS instead of the PSP like I did is because he's more into like the uh, somewhat a casual games I guess you can say. Mostly he's into Mario and Sonic. So for example, let's take a look at some of the games he has. So these games right here, he has Sonic Rush and he has a Sonic Classic Collection as well as Sonic Rush Adventure. So as you can see, these are all Sonic games. Also, let's in this pack right here, this is a mix of Sonic and Mario games. So he has Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games and Super Smash Mario Brothers as well as Sonic Chronicles, Mario Party DS and uh, Spider-Man 3. Um, this one he doesn't play very much because he, he liked it at first and he was playing with it like crazy but now he's just kind of getting bored of it. So I don't know what he's going to do with that one. But anyway, let's get to the unboxing right here. So. I did put this back here in a messy way because he did not kept all the original packaging that this came with so I do apologize and plus the way the camera is set up it is kind of awkward so I am holding the box at the same time so let's get started. So in the box like this isn't the way it's set up if you were to buy the first time however these are the contents that came with the DS itself. So. What we have here is the AC adapter, so this is where you're going to charge it. So this one is a flip-out plug right here, and then you put it back in. And of course, right here is your connector to the DS, so that way you can charge the DS itself. So, and of course, right here, we have the documentation right here. And you guys seen the documentation for the Nintendo DSi? You guys will know how massive that is. That's because it has like... I think three languages total into one big giant manual and uh, the English I believe it's like over a hundred pages that's insane but as far as the DS Lite you can see it is not that big and you also do get an extra stylus right here now the reason why you see an orange right right here instead of a white one is because my brother lost all both the white ones so I don't know what he's doing but he doesn't uh, keep his stuff very well so we have an instruction booklet right here we also have a uh, register now. Okay. Also, we have some uh, health and safety information. But who gives a crap about that? What we want to see is the actual DS itself. Here is the Nintendo DS Lite. Nothing in the box, so we can go ahead and put the box to the side. So let's take a look at the Nintendo DS Lite itself. So this is a plastic finish on here so it is kind of glossy so you will get some hairline scratches on here no doubt about it it uh, doesn't matter what you guys say you will get hairline scratches on this uh, which shouldn't be a problem on the left side of the device you have nothing but on the right side you have a slot for your stylus like I said he lost both the white ones so he has color ones right here and you have a power switch on this side you have a volume switch right here it's not a volume rocker, it's actually a switch. So you just uh, move it and then you're turned off the volume and you move it right here, you have the volume all the way up. Now, under this 
cover right here. This is a slot for your Game Boy Advance game. And you guys don't know what a Game Boy Advance is. That was basically an old Nintendo portable system that run on AA batteries. And now we have a rechargeable battery in the Nintendo DS Lite as well as a Nintendo DS in general. And these what the Game Boy Advance games look like. So as you can see, Sonic Advance 3, and you just slide it in, and then there you go. And we'll put this cover back here. And of course, you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack as well as this uh, strange looking plug that I don't know what that's for. And of course, here's the back, and this is actually right here where the battery is in. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the DS itself, uh, however my brother is, and Oh, I thought the battery died. Okay, so this is the DS itself. Do not ask what this uh, this crack is. I don't know what it is, but because of that, the DS won't even stay still when the screen is open. So let's actually look at it right here. And of course, in the inside, you have your speakers right here, as well as a screen that's non-touch screen. You have a directional pad right here, as well as your action buttons. And you have a start button right here, as well as select button. And the screen, this I believe it's a resistive touch screen because it, when you try to use your finger to touch the screen itself, it, it's not as smooth as a capacitive touchscreen that you would find on smartphones today, such as Android phones, Windows phones, 7 phones, as well as iOS devices like the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And plus, this does use a stylus, and resistive touchscreens do use a stylus, so that way you can uh, control your screen. Anyway guys, this was an unboxing of the Nintendo DS Lite. Let me know what you guys think, and if you guys have this device, are you upgraded or to the 3DS or are you ready to upgrade? Go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. And for more updates, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ben, I sell guy. That way we can talk some tech. You know, Twitter is pretty much boring for me right now, but go ahead and follow me. You guys want to stay updated on what's going on with me or um, know when I post a new video. And like I said, maybe we can talk some tech if you guys don't want to... Uh, see me talking to a camera right here, and then all you can do is just comment below and go ahead click my logo at the top right hand corner right here to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care now.